First thing you gotta do is you gotta have some estate planning. The whole idea behind this is if you're building wealth, you're gonna have money. And when you die, you gotta know where this money is gonna go because if you do not tell this money where to go, then your family is gonna be fighting for who gets the money. If you wanna avoid those fights, plan ahead, do some estate planning. There's a couple of things you can do. You can get a will, you can get a trust. It's gonna depend on what your financial situation is as to what is better for you. But the whole idea behind a will and a trust is you get to tell your money after you die where your money is gonna go. If you don't do this type of estate planning when you're alive, then the government's gonna come in and they're gonna decide where your money should go. You never want the government to decide where your money should go. So do this type of estate planning that way your family is not fighting for your money in the future. You also gotta protect your assets by having insurance. Nobody likes paying for insurance, but insurance is a small price you pay today to protect you against a big headache in the future. This is gonna be things like car insurance, health insurance, home insurance, life insurance. I know it's not fun to pay for all of these things, but if something bad were to happen to your car, your home, your health, your life, then your insurance company would come in and they would pay you or your family a big check that your family is at least financially okay. Things like car insurance, health insurance, home insurance are pretty obvious because if your car burns down or if your house lights on fire, then the insurance company is gonna come in and they're gonna give you a check to go out and buy a new home or a new car. But life insurance isn't always straightforward. The whole idea behind life insurance is if if you die within your life insurance period, then your life insurance company will give your family a big check. That way, at least your family will be able to survive financially even if you're not there because the last thing you want is for you to be the breadwinner for your family and then you're no longer there and your family cannot survive anymore without you. So they have to put up a GoFundMe page to raise money to pay for your funeral costs and to pay for your basic living costs. The good news about life insurance is it doesn't have to cost you a whole lot of money. Like if you're a healthy 30 year old guy, you can get a million dollar life insurance policy for less than a dollar a day. I'm not gonna go too deep into life insurance in this video because I've already talked about it on our YouTube channel. But if you do wanna see how you can get a free life insurance quote, I got the link to how you can do it with our sponsor Policy Genius in the description below. The fifth place your money needs to go is in your education, even if you think you're done with school. Growing up, I always thought that education meant school. Nowadays, for me, education means everything outside of the classroom. One of the easiest ways to fast track your financial success is just to keep learning because the more you know, the more you can do. My education comes from five different places. Books, classes, experts, experience, and mistakes. I'm not a big fan of actually reading books, but I go on a five mile walk or I try to go on a five mile walk every morning and this takes me about an hour and a half and during my walk, I like to listen to audiobooks. I buy quite a few online classes. Some of them help me personally and some of them help our business grow. You can learn from experts on YouTube or podcasts or you can hire consultants. When it comes to learning from experience, one of the core values at Minority Mindset is fast is better than slow. And the whole idea behind that is instead of spending all of your time just thinking about what to do, go out and implement it and learn from whatever you're doing. And even if you make a mistake, which is the fifth way I learn, you can learn way more from your mistakes than you do your successes. I made a video on YouTube where I talked about my worst real estate deal ever. That was the only property I ever lost money on, but that money that I lost was really just like tuition into real estate investing because I learned so much about investing in real estate from that one deal. Learn as much as you can by reading books, watching YouTube videos, and taking classes. That's good but it's never gonna replace experiential learning. You have to go out and you gotta just put yourself out there because you're always gonna run over hurdles that other people have not and you gotta figure out how to overcome them. The sixth place your money's got to go is your health and this isn't what most people think about when they think of health. If you've ever heard me talk about my quadrifid triangle, I believe that there are four fitnesses in life, four places that you need to be fit if you wanna live a happy and successful life. The bottom is physical fitness, then mental fitness, then spiritual fitness, and at the very top, it is financial fitness. If you wanna invest in your health, you need to be investing in your physical health, your mental health, and your spiritual health. Everything else is about your financial health. Starting at the bottom with your physical health, invest in good food and a gym membership or some workout equipment. Look, I'm not a doctor, sorry mom and dad, but the best medicine is being proactive and taking care of your health. I know you're working hard to get that bonus and feed your family and go on that vacation, but you gotta take care of your body too because this is the only one you got. Second is your mental health. If you are not happy, it does not matter how much money you have. It does not matter how successful you are, you will never be able to appreciate the things you accomplished. And so if you have this anxiety your depression and you are not happy, get it taken care of. Go into therapy, get some counseling, go into rehab. Whatever the cost is, 
pay it because if you are not happy and you're not able to live with yourself then it does not matter how successful you are because your mind is going to be holding you back so take care of your mental health because that is going to be a pillar for the success of your whole life and the third part of this is your spiritual health and when i say spiritual health i don't just mean religion i mean it could mean that but it's really what is your purpose do you really feel like you're on this earth to help underserved people if it is go out and give some of your money to charity or go give some of your money to your purpose figure out what it is that's driving passion that wakes you up every single morning and puts the money into that because if you do not feel fulfilled if you do not feel like you have a purpose then you're going to have no reason to get out of bed every single day and the seventh place your money needs to go is to your family now when i say your family i don't mean that when your cousin bunty goes and blows his money at gucci that he goes and asks you for another two thousand dollars and you just give him this money i mean taking care of your family you know when you're on your journey to build wealth you're going to do whatever you can to invest every single penny you can because you understand that this money invested is going to be able to make you a whole lot more money in the future. And as you do that, you're going to have to make sacrifices as a family. Maybe you don't get the nice car. Maybe you don't get that new home. Maybe you don't go on that vacation right now. But as you really start to build this financial foundation and this financial wealth, reward your family. Take your family and your kids on a nice vacation. Buy your spouse something nice because of what they put up with. I know it is hard building wealth. You got to make sacrifices. But as you start to see the success, don't just live frugal in the sense that you never enjoy your money for the rest of your life. Money only has value if you spend it and support the people that supported you. So as you start to build your wealth, make sure you take care of your family too. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.